Yeah, we're here on D9sports.com with Kervin Goheen, uh, Clarion Limestone Senior, uh, multiple sport athlete for the Lions. Um, this video being brought to you by the Clarion Limestone Booster Club. Hey, Kervin, thanks for taking a few minutes uh, to join us today. Uh, no problem. Thank you. Uh, you know, in, in the midst of everything that's going on and, and the disappointment, obviously, of you guys not getting to play your senior baseball season, you did have a, a little bit of um, exciting news here. You, uh, you've you committed to play baseball next year at St. John Fisher College in uh, Rochester, New York. Um, just talk a little bit about how excited you were to make that, that commitment. Uh, this is a big deal for me. Ever since I was younger, I always had the goal about playing the next level. I think it's just something as a young kid you always dream about continuing to play. So when I had this opportunity to play at next level, it was just something that I couldn't turn down. I'm just living out my dreams for another four years. Uh, you know, obviously this, was a, this wasn't how you wanted to, to see your high school career end, but um, just talk about how you're getting through everything. I mean, I, I guess we're probably all in the same, same boat. You know, we'd, we'd all rather be playing baseball. Well, maybe not today because it's raining, but – this week was a really nice week. It would have been the playoffs. Um, now just talk a little bit about how you've gotten through some of that disappointment. Well, it's definitely been disappointing, but I know personally that people have a lot worse than me. So I'm continuing to play baseball. I'm practicing still an hour every day. And I'm just right now trying to work on making myself better. I'm trying to take this nice spring we have, nice summer, and turn into like a fall workout. Just continue, continually to improve my game. Uh, what are some of the things that you've been doing to you, – you said you were practicing about an hour a day. What are some of the things that you've been able to do uh, to, to do that practice? Like what are some of the some of the skills that you've been working on? Well, obviously I hurt my arm last year, so I'm still building up the strength in it. Every other day I go out and I throw. I throw long toss. I throw short, do a lot of drills. Every day I hit at least 100 to 200 balls off the tee. I've always been big in the team in my career. I know a lot of people always look down on it because they thought it was little kid stuff but I've always hit off a team. I've always had great success with it. Uh, when, when you look at your, your high school career in sports, do, do you have, is base, was base, would you consider baseball your favorite sport? Oh, by far. Um, you know, when, when you look across uh, your high school career and in all the different sports that you played, what are some of your favorite memories from, from your high school uh, career? Uh, one of my favorite memories, just name a couple, Definitely winning the case Tech championship in baseball. I mean, that was the game I tore my arm in, so that wasn't that great. But the fact that no one really counted on us to win that year, we were kind of like an afterthought, looked at like we should be decent. But the fact that we went out and won a lot of games, it really meant a lot. And I'll have a lot of basketball memories just because basketball is a lot more exciting than baseball. So, like, all the case Tech championship games, I think my first ever – Varsity start in basketball whenever we played Claire and I, you interviewed me after that. That was probably my best game ever. Um, you know, I, I think back to some of those moments. I mean, you talked about winning the KSAC title last year. If memory serving me right in baseball, that was the game that you guys beat Monopaw. Might have been two to one or something like that. Um, yeah. You know, just, just winning in that kind of game um, where it's all about pitching defense and, and, and finding a way to scratch out runs. Um, you know, that kind of uh, epitomized your baseball team, your junior year, uh, wouldn't you say? Uh, that was just the definition. We didn't have – our offense would come and go at times, but we had Harry and Bryson who were always pitching, throwing strikes. We had Drew who – there was one out and a runner on second, and they're in the middle of their order, and Drew picked the kid off a second to pretty much seal the deal. Like, that just demoralized them. So we were – scrappy is a word I'd use to describe us. We were just all scrappy, and we all had the same goal to win. Uh, that, that had to have been um, a nice thing. Like you said, I don't know if a lot of people, us uh, so-called experts, saw you guys winning the KSAC a year ago, but it, it probably shouldn't surprise anybody considering even though CL baseball has only been around 20 years, the history you guys have out there is something that I'm sure you're all proud of and all wanted to, to contribute to. Yeah, we have definitely had a lot of success, and we were really excited for this year. We had a lot of players coming back, and the their new players coming in were looking really good. So we really thought we had a chance to go really far this year. When did you first realize that baseball was, was, was one of your loves? Uh, baseball has just been something I've always done. I mean, it's, it was my dad's love whenever he was a kid. And most of the time a son looks after what their dad does. There's pictures of me that 
I was just going through my book for my graduation when I was two playing baseball, I was throwing baseball with my grandfather. I mean, it's just, I've played when I was younger. The first time I played like travel ball I was seven. And I can just remember I was supposed to have a birthday party. I was turning eight, I think. But and we canceled the birthday party to so go play baseball. And it was like at that point I realized that baseball is the most important thing in my life. And I've continued to look at that. Are, are you, would you consider yourself more of a guy that just likes to play baseball or is that a sport that you follow as well? Uh, I love baseball. I play hours a day. I have multiple fancy baseball teams. I follow all the news. I keep up. My YouTube search is just hitting techniques, trying to find little ways to make myself better. Do you, I mean, have, a, do I, you, have, a, do you have a favorite player? Uh, my favorite player is Bryce Harper. It's just lefties always stick, seem to stick together. And it's just, he's always, I just always been impressed by him. So being that you're a Bryce Harper fan, were you also kind of like rooting then pretty hard for the Nationals last year in the World Series? I was rooting for the Nationals just because I knew. I mean, I know he's with the Phillies now, but I just, you know, obviously he was with the Nationals for for that long time. So I just wondered if maybe that was the case. I mean, I pretty much by this point have all the MLB teams ranked and how I liked them. And I've always liked the Nationals. Big Max Scherzer fan. So whenever I went out and, well, I was just rooting for the Astros. Then when you found out the Astros cheated, it made it a lot easier. (laughs) Um, Where does our, where does our hometown team fit in that ranking of your teams? (laughs) Number one, I've been through the Pirates since day one. You got to stay loyal. Well, I mean, I'm sure you can see my background here with uh, mm-hmm. with the pennants. Uh, so, I mean, I don't think there's any mistake of where my uh, where my loyalties live. Um, you can see you behind have, me. I got some, I got ball heads back there. <laughs> uh, you you obviously uh, you know you were kind of right in that sweet spot of being a baseball fan that 2013 to 2015 um, run that the Pirates made. Uh, you were a little, uh, you're a little younger, I guess, than I was when the Pirates made their run in, from 90 to 92. But, um, you know, that, that kind of helps. You know, a lot of people are like, well, the Pirates have been bad, but you got, you got an opportunity to see them at their very best here not that long ago is, is well. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I saw when they were good, and it just really puts in perspective, not only with the MLB teams, but like baseball career in general, how baseball is a humbling game you'll be high at times and you'll be on a hot streak. And there's been times in my career when I felt that I was never going to get out, thought I was going to get a hit every time up. Then there's been times that you feel cold. I mean, Tony Gwen, who's one of the greatest hitters of all time, wrote in his book, that there was times he felt like he was never going to get a hit again. And that's just how baseball is. It really just shows the mental grind and why it's the toughest sport to play, in my opinion. Hey, flipping over to basketball, obviously you guys had a lot of success um, in, in your three or four years playing for CL. Uh, what was it? At least two KSAC titles. Was it three TK, three or two, two or three KSAC titles? Um, two, and then, two KSAC titles and three championship games. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, all of that. And, and you know, you were kind of the, the workman guy on the team. You know, over the years, the scores were going to be guys like Ian Callen, Hayden Callen, uh, uh, Dion D's, um, but uh, you played a really key role here, especially the last two years. Um, just talk a little bit about embracing the role um, that Coach Ferguson asked you to embrace. I mean, if you look, the newspaper reports the people to score. Everyone cares about the points per game. But when you really watch the game, you really see the impact. Now, I was always fine being a role player. I can't shoot the way that the Callen boys can. I can't dribble the way Dion can. It's not my role. I was told from a young age that my job is to go down, be big, and get rebounds. And then when I came up to varsity, Coach Joe continued to give me that role. And I think it never really bothered me any. And then I look at the last dance. I just watched that documentary with my dad. And you really saw how – I mean, I'm not as goofy as Dennis Rodden, but <laughs> Dennis Rodden just – but Dennis Rodman had one goal, and that was to get the ball every single time. And those bull teams won because they all had a role, and I think that's a lot with the, what we were. Did watching the last dance give you a different perspective? I mean, obviously, you know, I know your dad's around my age, grew up watching Jordan, probably talked to you about how good Jordan was. Did watching that give you a different perspective on, on maybe how good Michael Jordan really was? The stance I took on Michael Jordan – was how just misunderstood he was. I know you see the reports and 
Michael Jordan bullying Steve Kerr and bullying Scott Burrell. And people nowadays are taking that as like a negative whenever, you know, I feel myself in a lot of Michael Jordan roles. I've known that I've pushed teammates, we'll say too hard because I was doing it. And I think the Jordan quote that really just exemplifies that is when he said, I wasn't making no one do anything that I wouldn't do. And that's my opinion. Michael Jordan only cared about winning. And that's a lot of my attitude is I'm willing to do anything it takes to win a game, whether that be take all the shots, be a role player. I want to win at any cost. And that's what I took away from it. Let's flip the script a little bit and talk about your college choice. What was it about St. John Fisher that uh, you really liked? Um, St. John Fisher wins. I when my first talk with their coach, that's what he sold me on that they get 30 wins a year. They're nationally ranked in division three and that their guys get better. I did have some higher division offers, but there was no better school than St. John's Fisher. As well as on their athletic side, they're also academically like amazing. I just, I'm big into math. I always, always love math. And they're a top ranked math school in New York. So it was just kind of a dream fit for me. What, what would you like to do with math? I'm going to major in statistics and obviously dream scenario, I guess statistics with a baseball background, be a GM. I think that'd be an amazing job. Ever since I watched Moneyball for the first time, I was cleaning out my rooms and I'll find notebooks when I was 12 playing MLB the show, trying to make the best team I can. Pirates won a lot of World Series for me. <laughs> um that 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 that's that's still uh that's still my favorite part of uh sports video games is building teams like that. Uh yeah, I might I might be twice your age, but uh and generally I don't get a chance to do a lot of that, but with all of the uh with, with everything being shut down and um everything I, I kind of pulled out NHL uh the NHL games from EA Sports here and been building some teams and stuff like that. So I can feel you on that. Um Urban, uh, you know, when you look at, at everything going on in the world, um, you know, and I think you said it best, uh, you know, we, we look at our own situations and it can be frustrating, but we also know people have it a lot worse than us. But, you know, overall, is it that that you just keep looking back on to kind of help you get through this time? Because obviously it's not easy for anybody at the end of the day. Mm, it's not really easy for me. And I see the Facebook post and it's really bad. I missed my senior year. I've been told since I was younger that high school is the best time. There's movies about it. But as I said before, I missed out on prom and graduating. That's, I'm 18 years old. That's not that hard. I'm looking back and I'm sure it's more frustrating for the factory worker that lost his job that had to try and support a family. So I think the easiest thing for me is just to keep my struggles in perspective that I did miss out on some, but me missing out is a couple memories that I'm sure in 20 years, no one's going to remember. is isn't like a lot of people remember their senior prom. So that's what I try and do and just try and keep it as a positive and know that in 10 years if I'm struggling, I can say that I was through the corona of 2020. So I can use this as a motivator. Um, I think that's a really good uh, way of looking at it, Kervin. I mean, and, and yet at the same time, I can empathize a lot with you guys because, you know, there's so many memories that, you know, I have even, uh, I, I will, I'll, 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 I'll cut this though. I'll say that I like college better than high school. So hopefully you have the same, uh, same experience. That'll be a lot more fun up at St. John Fisher. Uh, there's another district nine kid going to St. John Fisher, isn't there? Uh, Jake Meeker uh, from yeah. St. Mary's. Um, you know, is that is that kind of cool that a couple of you guys from the same area are going there? Uh, I think it's really cool. I just think it shows how that when you stay dedicated to something, you can really make your dreams come true. I, I'm not sure if you knew this or not, but um, Jake's family's from Clarion County here. Mm -hmm. My, we've been in a little bit of contact, not very much, but we have talked a little bit. Yeah, for for those of you who aren't aware, Josh Meeker, the former girls basketball coach at Union is Jake Meeker's uh, uncle. Uh, his dad, um, Josh, who's the, co or yeah, uh, Josh, his dad, AJ, who's the coach up at St. Mary's actually uh, was a graduate assistant in sports information uh, at Clarion University uh, at one point, played baseball, I think, here as well. So um, really kind of neat that a couple of guys with some with some Clarion County background or, or, or with an opportunity to go there. Kerbin, I really appreciate you taking a few minutes to join us today. Um, 
again, I know this isn't the easiest of times, but uh, really appreciate you kind of giving us your insight on, on, on a lot of different things. Uh, again, a special thanks to the Clarion Limestone All Sports Booster Club for bringing us this video and, and Kervin, good luck with everything. All right, thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Yeah, that was Kervin Goheen, the uh, senior at Clarion Limestone. And again, this was brought to you by the Clarion Limestone All Sports Boosters Club.